Hey, hi, hello everybody and welcome back to the Goat Force Gaming channel where we play the roguelikes and the roguelites every single time. Folks, it is wonderful to be back here with you again, showing off another cool game to hit the scene. This is a demo for a game called Terralesia and this one caught my eye out on Twitter. You know, thankfully, I follow a lot of independent developers out there. And I've got a lot of buddies on Twitter that also follow indie devs. And so, because of that, I'm able to see a lot of interesting projects along the way. And so this one hit my feed. And it talked about how it was a third-person version of your favorite vampire survivor type games. Or dare I say, the bullet heavens. And if you've hung out here before, and some of you have, you know that I'm a huge fan of those types of games. I love them. I love, love them. So I saw this and I said, hey, I gotta check that out. And you know what, folks? It turns out it's pretty cool. Now, I don't know when this one comes out. There's no release date to be seen just yet, but I like what's on offer here. Story-wise, I'm not quite sure what's happening. We seem to be trapped in some kind of zone. Uh, that we saw there and in the game's description they talk about how the longer you survive the more you find out about your situation so ladies and gentlemen that is exactly what we're gonna try and do today we're gonna try and survive we'll see if we can put together a wicked awesome build I can tell you from attempting a couple of times. Uh, as we go along, we're going to run into objectives. Hey, let's grab this real quick. Oh, we've got a nice little run as well. Fragment of a distant memory. Now, I believe these come together to open up new capabilities for future runs. And I'll show that off a little bit at the end of this run. Hopefully that's gonna be a minute or two, you know. Try to do good out here. Uh, let's, let's go with this piercing breeze. A projectile orbits the player and damages enemies. That doesn't sound too bad, does it? I have a primary capability on this character and that is the ability to shoot these fireballs. So I imagine we're a pyromancer of sorts. And then I have another that can be charged up, and it kind of knocks the enemies back at the same time. So as you can see, we've got our first objective that has popped here to find the stranger. And so I will head that way in a moment. All right. Just wanted to see if we could get one more level up. The other thing is... You can jump, and none of us are used to that in the roguelite survival games, so that's definitely refreshing. I'm gonna step on it here a little bit. I don't know if we'll eventually run into some meta progression type options that we're used to in a separate menu, or how it's all gonna work. Maybe that's still being thought up by the dev. But uh, I was pleasantly surprised at how quickly I got semi-addicted to this. It's definitely got that one more run feel to it. Well, I'm getting beat on a little bit here. Not too happy about that. All right, there's our level up. So, slowly regenerates health. You like that kale, right? Hey, cheers to you, by the way. Hmm. 
I'm out here drinking a cacao. It's a little bit later in the evening. Didn't want to have too much caffeine going. So let's pop that kale and then we'll uh, check out this objective, right? Okay. The shadows stir, please, I need aid. Okay. So do I. Let's be honest. Right, we gotta get back in there. It looks like the blue bar is our progress bar, and then we've also got to worry about this guy's health. I, I think he might have picked the wrong goat to be his defender. I mean, let's be honest. All right, we have projectile wielding dudes out in the battlefield now. Maybe there's a hidden objective where we're supposed to let the stranger pass away. Maybe. So maybe I'm doing really well. Oh, get up, get up, get up. That's bad. Okay, well that that was nice. Uh, our stranger just passed away. So maybe, maybe not so great on that. It looks like maybe they have reset the quest because it still says find the stranger. Not sure. And we also have mushroom men that have joined us on the scene. Oh boy. Okay. Here's the other thing I'm going to tell you about the Terralesia demo. It's pretty tough. It's pretty tough. Let's, uh, Go back into the hub area. And here's where the fragments come into play. So once I got this to 100%, Life Leech then seemed to open up. And if you go to the door of the zone you want to enter, you'll see from there what you've opened up. The distant sound of crashing waves against a rocky shore, accompanied by a sense of yearning. So I think we've opened up something else. Scroll of Anger Management. Increases damage when health is low. All right. Cool. Let's give it another go. I will include the link to the Steam page in case you want to get in here and test your luck as well. You gotta admit, it is a pretty looking game. And I love the upbeat music that goes along with this. All right, we're gonna see some new spells this time. Let's get some magic missiles going. I should mention that the other spells you take that are aside from your two primary attacks, those are on a cooldown and they do fire and target automatically for you. Oh, I like the lightning strikes. Let's go with that. Maybe we can put together a nasty lightning and magic missile build. Just get weird with it, you know? That's what we like about these types of games. You can put together all kinds of interesting builds and just try and break the game. Hey, look at that. There's a village out there? Ooh, transfers life from the closest enemy to you. Is this a form? Is this a form of garlic with lifesteal? Is that what we're talking about? All right, maybe not, maybe not. Looks like it pops off as a separate beam attack and then does the life steal. But I was gonna be, I was gonna be uh, a little bit impressed there if we had a garlic with life steal. You know, this, this game's version of garlic, right? Okay. Seems like all the bullet heavens of the world have their own version of garlic, doesn't it? Ooh. I like that we got an ability level up out of the treasure chest. That's nice. Lightning seems to be working really well for us. Tiger's Eye increases power. Scroll of Anger Management. That's that new one. Uh, let's go with the Tiger's Eye. I really don't know what this means. Increases balance. The Quail Wing. I'm not sure on that. All right, and we're taking down the enemies at a good clip so far. A 
That was a nice one. Uh, let's level up our fireball again. I mean, I am a little bit curious about the village, aren't you? We should probably go check that out, just for science. I know it's telling us the stranger is over there, but the village is over there, and it, it looks very pleasant. So let's go check it out. Okay. Maybe there's a little coffee stand we can just hit up real quick, right? Oh, folks. As a quick aside, while we're talking about coffee, I made affogados over the weekend. Oh my goodness, if you have not had this and you are a coffee fan, you need to do this. Get yourself a really nice vanilla ice cream or gelato, whatever you like, right? Maybe you want to get a little bit of magic shell, okay? Like me, the fudge kind? Fragment of a distant memory, no, we want... We want powers, folks. We're not going to settle for fragments. We're going to go find the, the curious stranger right now. Get yourself some ice cream. Get three scoops of that ice cream in a bowl. Pull an espresso shot, a single, and dump that shot on top of the ice cream. Magic shell on there or not. It's up to you. Okay. You have one of those, send me a thank you, all right? I'm telling you, you are going to love it. I'm going to have to post a picture of my affogato at some point. It was tremendous. All right, I'm thinking another point in the lightning strike. Increase damage and range, let's do it. I feel like we took a little bit of extra time this time to get to the stranger, so we might run into some upgraded nasties, but we've got a lot more power now. And I, I think it's going to work out. I know, big, big words from a goat, right? Is he getting eaten already by the spiders? God. Okay, all right. All right, well, there's only so much I can do. Okay. Ooh, look at this. Another projectile. Hey, let's cheers to that. Let's take a quick sip here. My goodness. Turns out two fireballs better than one. Look at that. Oh, that is exactly what the doctor ordered. For this particular encounter. Look at that guy's a tree. Increases poison resistance. Wow, another one. Ooh. This seems like the way to go. Especially right now. Alright. Let's take this guy out. I bet he drops a chunky experience gem. Did he? Nope. Alright. Goat's wrong. Oh no! Oh, that's what the balance is all about. He won't fall over anymore. I bet that's what that means. All right, we're gonna do it, especially since we just fell over. And uh, I think our guy died again. Oh, we we got we got quite high there. I don't. I'm not sure why that happened. Oh god! Oh, oh god! Oh man, you know what? I really like this. And I am going to continue playing this. And I hope that gives you a good feel for the game. And I'm going to play one more just to see if we can put together another interesting build real quick. Because this game is, I'm telling you, it's, it's addictive. It really is. God, we had a good build going with the double fireballs, right? Yeah. Get out here. Give this a try. If you like it, give this dev some love with a wish list. It helps these devs so much. 
in terms of their capability to show up on Steam. Let's go uh, Magic Missile this time. We'll lean into that. Just wait till we get the ability to do some rerolls. I bet that's a thing. Okay. Uh, boy. Let's go Fireball. That double Fireball would have been really, really good. We kept that for a while. I liked that build that we had. But you can see they're not messing around out here when it comes to the difficulty at all. All right, we're gonna go Missile. And I'm gonna try to see if we can... All right, so it is just the one jump. I, I don't know why we got so high that time. Uh, I guess we'll go Missile. It looks like we've got a chest sitting out there. Let's go grab that. Okay. Some more fragments. And you know what's interesting, I noticed right away, is that there's no timer. There's no countdown, and so you know, it must be more about fulfilling these objectives. Or maybe we're going to get a timer, you know, when we get to uh, uh, the more fleshed out version of the game. This this being just a demo. Who knows what's coming. I did like the life leech. Yeah, let's do it. We needed a little bit stronger of a life leech. I think this time... We're going to take a slightly different approach here, and I'm not going to go find the stranger. I'm, I'm just going to focus on staying alive and uh, getting as strong as we can. And then at some point, if I feel uber powerful, then we'll go find the stranger. How about that? I mean, look. I want to help the stranger as much as you do, but it, it just, it's not good for the length of our runs. We, we've proven that a couple times now. It is what it is. I'm told by some of the information that I've read that there are going to be multiple characters. Uh, they're going to be playing differently. You know, they'll have new abilities. Oh, look, look what I went and did. I wasn't paying attention. My footing. This kind of reminds me of Nevermourn in terms of the setup. It's one additional projectile. Let's do that. You know, it being a uh, third person view. Uh, magic missiles are doing their thing out here. Wow. Okay. I mean, we could could put another point into the lightning strike and just get another thing that's popping off randomly out there. This is actually going okay with the stranger so far. Oh my goat, just shut up. Just... Just let it happen. Okay. Oh, you know we gotta go Magic Missile. Happy to see that again. Wow, Magic Missile putting in the work today. The real MVP. All right, throws an exploding projectile or flame ward. Let's get another capability that's gonna pop off for us. Looks like it's a grenade of sorts, right? Speaking of projectiles, we've got some nasties shooting bullets now. It's old Mr. Tree out there. Alright, progress bar is looking really good. So I think we're going to see what happens here. 
you know, I'll be honest, I don't love any of these, but I'm gonna go helmet this time. Not too worried about poison yet. I don't think we've been struck with poison yet in a run. One additional projectile. Nice. All right, the stranger looks like he's he's conjuring something up for us, isn't he? He looks excited. Okay. Hey, he just got rid of everybody. Look at that. Uh, let's put the black hole out there. What's he saying? Sense the source. We must seek the portal. Oh. Okay. Does that make sense to you? Uh, let's go with the fireball. And apparently we're going to go find a portal now in this direction. Hey, look, folks. You know what? I know as much as you do. Maybe we're going back to that nice little village. Maybe we'll find that espresso shop after all. Is this guy trying to run off? I don't think so. Okay. Well, that's not the portal. What is that? That's this is a little bit concerning out here. I don't remember that being there. But we'll keep heading in the uh, direction of the arrow, I suppose. Kind of want to take this guy out because I, I know he drops a beefier experience gem. Come on, guy. There we go. There's that magenta-looking one. Okay. Oh, we can one-shot those guys now. Big Mamma Jammas. Yep. Oh, these guys... These guys are a little concerning here. Okay. Uh, I say we go Life Leech again. And I'm thinking we take these guys out every once in a while, just so that they don't gang up on us, right? Boom. Oh, look at this guy! Wow. He had a big stick. Looked like a cobalt-looking guy, right? Okay. I, I think that's the, uh, the right way to describe that guy. Okay, are we seeing anything out here yet? I, you know what? I am seeing a portal. Were you thinking that stranger was maybe lying to us for a second there? Yeah, that's all right. Don't worry. I was ready to throw it in reverse and find him. Ask him what that's all about. Let's lower the cool down. That sounds nice. That's a weird looking dude. Let's uh, knock these guys back a little bit. Pop it into high gear. Get some life steal popping off as well. Okay, hey, oh, there he is. Quickly seek out and shatter the pylons. Lend your strength to aid with the portal. Shatter the pylons. What are we talking about here? Oh, was that one of the rock structures that we saw? You know, I thought those were concerning. No, maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. Maybe the pylons look differently. Okay. You know, it's interesting having the objectives to run back and forth to. It gives you something to do. All right. So... Let's keep doing what we're doing. See those other runs? Turns out those other runs, they were just warm-ups. 
That happens a lot on this channel, you know? Get in there, you take the L, you call it a warm-up. It's all good. Now, these magic missiles are really doing it for us. Ooh. We maybe light that fire up? Alright, so it looks like the ones over here are going to be the first ones to come up for us. Alright. Uh, we got to stand inside and survive? Can we just blow them up? What do we think? I can't tell if we're damaging them or not. Oh, maybe we are. So I don't see a progress bar. Oh, okay. All right. So it did disintegrate. Just got to stand in there for a requisite period of time. And as far as I know, I did not see a progress bar along the way. Again, demo. Who knows? Maybe that'll be added in the future. Uh, let's go with the lower cooldown again on the magic missile. Just keep leaning into that. I think uh, we'll go to this one next. You know, it seems to have a nice physics system. You blast these guys and they kind of flop around, especially when you pop them back with this thing. Guess that guy died before we could pop him back. Yeah, so it does look like I can't damage the rock pile. I think we need to just chill in here. Health is looking good, especially with the lifesteal happening. Lightning's working like a champ. All right, so we knocked out that one. Let's come in here and grab these juicy crystals real quick. Hey, there we go. And... Uh, I suppose we'll go helmet. I like the flame ward, and you don't have to charge it up. You can just pop it off real quick, too. So maybe I will put some points in there. Next couple opportunities that we have. But uh, defense isn't bad. All right, we got... Three more of these guys? Not bad. Uh, it is getting a little crowded out here, you've, you've probably noticed. That's all right. We, we knew we were coming to play. Ah, oh, gotta get back in there. That secondary attack pushes the player back a little bit as well. Speaking of, I think we're going to pop that off and see if we can clear this mess out a little bit. Alright, that one's down. Here's a chest. Slowly regenerates health. Okay, so we got some kale. Are you in the kale? You know, they say it's really good for your eyes and... Uh, they call it the scrubber. You know, it gets in there and it, it does some scrubbing for you. I try to eat it. You know, I I hide it as best I can. I'm, I went to jump in the water and I thought, oh, I, we, I, I, I think we can jump in the water. I think that'll be okay. Glad that panned out. All right, let's go with the blast sphere. Two additional projectiles. How about it? Whoa, whoa. Well, let's jump in here. See if we can knock out this last one. 
Hey, if you're having a good time, do me a favor and do the dev a favor. Hit that like button. It helps a lot more people see the video via the recommendation system. And really, it, it helps everybody. Okay. Hey, we nailed it. Oh, looks like there's one more. I misspoke. I thought that was the last one. Now let's grab... Whoa, whoa. Let's grab this chest. Ten fragment. Perfect. I feel like we're going to have a lot of new stuff opened up. be lying if I told you that this game is not difficult at this point. It It is getting very challenging out here. There, There's some traffic that we're dealing with. Hey, how about that? Okay. Oh, did we do the thing? I think we did the thing. Thank you for playing. If you enjoyed the demo, please consider supporting us in Wishlist on Steam. Couldn't agree more. Get out there. Try the demo. Do the thing, folks. I will absolutely be keeping my eye on this one. I'd like to play more of it. Looks like we're going to have a lot more zones when this is fully baked. And as I said, we've got uh, some other characters that are going to be apparently on offer as well. Let's see, did we unlock everything? No. Wow. Okay. Yep. A lot more there. A lot of meat on the bone. Hey, thanks for hanging out and checking out some Terralesia with me. Let's do this again sometime soon. How about it, huh? We'll get together out there a roguelike or a roguelite and we'll give away a video game at least once a week because we love doing that too so i hope you have a fantastic rest of your day i'm gonna roll the credits in a moment here if you want to see your name on the credits consider becoming a channel member you'll be helping support the channel and the giveaways that we do even more than you already do by being a viewer. You're supporting that way as well. I'm just glad you're here when it comes down to it. All right, we'll see you next time. Take care.